In this video, we're going to talk about how to do implicit differentiation. So let's say if you're given a problem that looks like this. x squared plus y cubed minus 4x is equal to 8. And then you're told to find dy over dx. So what do you need to do in order to find dy over dx in this problem? What you need to do first is you need to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So what is the derivative of x squared with respect to x? The derivative of x squared is simply 2x. Now what about a different variable like y cubed? What is the derivative of y cubed with respect to x? It's going to be 3y squared using the power rule times dy dx. Now for those of you who may have forgotten the power rule, it's the derivative of x to the n where x is the variable n is the constant. It's n times x raised to the n minus 1. So x squared becomes 2x to the first power. y cubed, n is 3, that becomes 3y squared. Now what about the derivative of negative 4x? The derivative of negative 4x is negative 4. By the way, for those of you who need to refresh on the basic rules of derivatives, I'm going to post a few links in the description section of this video. Um, so you'll have more resources that will help you to find derivatives like power rule, product rule, quotient rule, and stuff like that. So take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, what is the derivative of a constant, like 8? The derivative of any constant is always 0. Now, our goal is to isolate dy over dx. We need to get it on one side of the equation. So what we're going to do first is we're going to move the negative 4 from the left side to the right side. So on the left side, it's negative, but on the right side, it's going to be positive. And let's do the same with 2x. Once you move it to the right side, it's going to become negative 2x. And so this is what we now have. Our next step in order to get dy dx by itself is to divide both sides by 3y squared. And so this will cancel. And now we have our answer. dy over dx is equal to 4 minus 2x divided by 3y squared. And so that's how you could use implicit differentiation in order to find dy over dx. Now let's try another problem. Let's say if we have y squared plus 5x squared y cubed plus x to the fourth equal 9. How can we find dy dx in this case? So this time, notice that we have multiple y variables. Feel free to pause the video and try it. So step one, we need to take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to x. And when you do that, every time you differentiate a y variable, you need to add dy dx to it. So the derivative of y squared is 2y, but times dy dx. When you differentiate an x variable, you're going to get dx over dx, which is 1. So you don't have to worry about any uh, dx or anything like that. Now, how can we differentiate 5x squared y cubed? Notice that we have two different variables attached to each other. And so we need to use the product rule. And the basic idea of the product rule is that you differentiate one component of this term, leaving the other component alone. So the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. Now the second part, we're just going to rewrite it, y cubed. We're not going to change it. And then plus, now let's rewrite the first part, 5x squared. Now we need to take the derivative of the second part. The derivative of y cubed is 3y squared, but times dy over dx. Now let's differentiate x to the fourth power. So using the power rule, that's going to be 4x cubed, and the derivative of 9 is 0. So now what we need to do is we need to take every term that doesn't have a dy dx associated with it and move it to the other side of the equal sign. So on the left side, we're still going to have 2y times dy over dx plus this term here, so we can multiply the 5 and the 3, that's going to give us 
x squared y squared dy dx equals now we're going to move this to the other side so it's going to become negative 4x cubed and this will switch from positive to negative so that's going to be negative 10x y cubed now what is our next step what do you think we need to do at this point our next step is to factor dy dx that's the only way we're gonna get it by itself on one side of the equation so we gotta factor out the GCF or the greatest common factor if we take out dy dx from that term we're gonna have a 2y left over and if we remove dy dx from this term we're gonna have 15 x squared y squared left over Now the last thing we need to do is we need to divide both sides by uh, that term. So our final answer is going to be dy dx is equal to negative 4x cubed minus 10xy cubed divided by 2y plus 15x squared y squared. And so we could leave the answer like that. But if you want to modify it, I mean, you could factor out a negative 2x in the numerator and that'll give you 2x squared plus 5y cubed on top and you could take out a y on the bottom leaving behind 2 plus 15x squared y and so you could write your answer like that if you want to but it's not necessary so that's it for this example now let's work on one more problem. Let's say we have the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. And our goal is to find the second derivative d squared y over dx squared. And we wish to evaluate it at the point 4 comma 3. Go ahead and try this problem. So just like before, we're going to use implicit differentiation. We're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2y times dy over dx. And the derivative of 25 is 0. So let's take the 2x and move it to the other side. So it's going to be negative 2x on the other side. And then let's divide both sides by 2y. So we have that dy over dx is equal to, now we can cancel 2. So dy over dx is negative x over y. So this is the first part of our answer. We're not done yet. But let's get rid of this first. Now, to get the second derivative, we need to differentiate both sides of that equation with respect to x. The derivative of dy over dx with respect to x is the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared. Now, on the right side, we need to use the quotient rule. In order to differentiate negative x over y. So what is the quotient rule? The derivative of u over v is v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. And in this example, u is negative x, v is the variable on the bottom, which is y, and u prime is negative 1, v prime is the derivative of y, which is 1 times dy dx, or simply dy dx. Now, don't forget that dy over dx is equal to negative x over y because we're going to use this later. So I'm just going to write that there. So now using this equation, we have v u prime. So v is y, u prime is negative 1 minus u v prime. So u is negative x, v prime 
is dy over dx over v squared, which is y squared. Now what we need to do at this point is replace dy dx with negative x over y squared. So this expression becomes negative y, and then we could cancel these two negatives, so that's positive x times this stuff, so negative x over y, all divided by y squared. Now what I'm going to do is multiply the bottom and the top by y. So d squared y over dx squared is going to be negative y squared and then minus x squared. These two will cancel. And don't forget to distribute this y to negative y. That's how you get negative y squared. On the bottom we have y squared times y which is y cubed. So this is what we now have. Now what we can do at this point is plug in these numbers. So y is equal to 3 and x is 4 and we have y cubed on the bottom which is going to be 3 cubed. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 3 to the third, 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. And negative 9 minus 16 is negative 25. So the answer is negative 25 over 27. So this is the value of the second derivative, and this is the formula of the second derivative with respect to x and y. And so that's it for this problem, but this is the answer we're looking for. Now for those of you who want more harder problems with implicit differentiation, such as those with like sine and cosine, check out the links in the description section of this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.